Hi, I'm Laura Tate, and I'm the host of Bootstrap Digital Marketing, a new podcast that I launched about a month ago. And every week I give actionable tips and advice on how to digitally market your business using social media and content. So today we're going to talk about the beginning of the setup of your um, social media profiles. So you know what channels you're going to use, like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, whatever your research has told you where your audience is, those are the social media profiles you want to set up. The first thing you want to do before you start creating accounts and whatnot is to decide on what social media handle you'll use. A social media handle is your username on your social media channels. It's what people use to find you and connect with you on your social media platforms. For example, my social media handle for my business is Cracker Jack Scribe, and it's preceded by the at symbol. So if somebody was on Instagram and they typed in and search at Cracker Jack Scribe, my profile will come up. And there's a difference between the username and the display name. What, uh, for example, on Facebook, my username is Cracker Jack Scribe. But what you see as far as the business name on the um, homepage is Cracker Jack Scribe Digital Marketing. Best practices dictate that you choose a username that is concise, memorable, and represents your brand or business. And quite often it should just be your business name. But there are times when you won't be able to use your business name because it's too long, or maybe that handle has already been taken. Uh, Cracker Jack Scribe was not taken when I set up all my channels a few years ago, um, so that, that was great. But on Twitter, you can only have up to 14 characters for your username, so I had to shorten it. Cracker Jack Scribe was too long, so I shortened it to CJ Scribe. That's the initials of Cracker Jack CJ Scribe. So when deciding what social media uh, username or handle you'll use, first of all, decide whether it's going to be your business name, and if it is, is it too long? Um, I think Twitter is, has the, the most limits on characters. Instagram is 30, Twitter is 14. So as long as it fits Twitter, I think you'll be good with all the other channels. Um, so does it represent your brand or business? If it is your business name, will it fit uh, all your social media profiles? Um, and should you add a keyword? Because that's another thing that you can do if your business name or your brand name is not too long, you can add an important keyword to it. For example, I was looking up on Twitter and I was looking up hair salons and that word search, that keyword search brought up a list of businesses. Um, some of them had nothing to do with hair salons at all, but there was one that caught my eye and that was Blaze Hairdressing. That's the name of the business, but if you notice their social media handle is Blaze Hair Salon. They use very important keywords in their social media handle, uh, and that resulted in them turning up in search results on Twitter at the top of the um, search results. So think about these things when you're deciding on a username. It's concise, memorable, it represents your brand or business or industry, and it fits within the character limits of Twitter and all the other social media platforms. Now, what if your username is already taken? Well, a uh, very fast and easy way to find that out is to use a program or a platform like Noem, that's K-N-O-W-E-M, or there's a uh, name checker, it's N-A-M-E-C-H-E-C-K-R. I had to think about that because they left out the E on that. And uh, that's one, and there's another one. I'm going to look it up really quick because I forgot what it was that um, I saw recommended. Okay, name check. It's N A M E C H K. So name check with the uh, out the E in it and the C, <laughs> and Noem K N O W E M, and name checker N A M E C H E C K R. So those are platforms where you can. Plug in uh, the at symbol. Actually, you don't need to plug in the at symbol. You just plug in the name. For instance, I could put in Cracker Jack Scribe, and it's going to show all the platforms where that username is being used. So if your username is already taken, the handle that you want to use, it would, ter it would be terrible if it was your business name. But if you have like a generic name, or maybe it's not generic, but of course your business is unique. We're all unique. <laughs> 
So if your username is already taken, what are you going to do? Well, there's some alternatives. You can use an acronym or you can add a keyword to your username. For example, I could use Cracker Jack Scribe Marketing. And already Twitter, I use CJ Scribe. I don't think there's anybody with that acronym or that abbreviation out there. You could also do things like add an underscore in between the name. So Cracker Jack underscore Scribe. Oh yes, so another way to get around if somebody has already taken your username, you can always add official like official Cracker Jack Scribe or Cracker Jack Scribe official um, or something similar like that. And that way you can still have your name in there, but then you make it the official one. So those are some examples of how you can adjust your username or your handle if somebody has already taken what you had slated to use. So when you're considering what username you would like to use, write several down just in case yours is taken and check out those platforms where you can see if it's taken. And if it's available, great, then you're golden. Another thing you want to think about is that your user handle should be the same across all your channels. And the reason for this, it makes it easy for your brand to be found on any platform. Um, so for example, if people want to find you on Twitter, but they also want to take a look at your business on Facebook, it, to have two different usernames, it doesn't make sense. It's going to make it more difficult for your um, brand to be found. Also, and if you still do this, if you still hand out business cards, <laughs> I laugh. Um, people do hand out business cards. I know I live in this digital world where everything happens online, but not everybody does. So if you use business cards, you can easily just put your handle on there and just say social media and you put your username. And if it's the same for all the channels, there you go. You also want to make sure it's memorable if possible. So the shorter, the better. And if you can put a little unique twist on it, uh, great. And if you can add a keyword, that would be great. For uh, like Cracker Jack Scribe, if I wanted to, I could put at Cracker Jack Scribe Marketing. I think most of the channels would accept that. It wouldn't be too long. The only one where it wouldn't work would be Twitter. Another factor to consider is, or as a recommendation, is to whatever username that you use, um, and especially if it's your business name, you should use it in your website or blog domain name and our domain name, in case you don't know, is the URL. It's the address that you type into the uh, browser window to reach a website. So my website is crackerjackscribe.com. So crackerjackscribe fits in with all my branding as far as my usernames and everything. Using keywords in your social media profiles when you set them up is very important. It also helps with discovery. So when people are doing hashtag searches for like hair salon or dog groomer or marketing, if you have those hashtags in your profile, most likely your profile is going to show up in those searches. Let's go over the guidelines. So you want to be concise and you want to be consistent. So concise means short, easy to, easy to remember, consistent. All your channels should have the same username. Um, no punctuation because it's much easier for somebody to type in and remember something like uh, Laura Tate rather than Laura.Tate, although we use it for emails a lot. But if you can, don't use any punctuation in your username. Well, this was a very fast and easy tip today. Um, it was my original intention to make all of these this short, but sometimes there's just too much in important information to share. Thank you very much for listening and for watching if you're on YouTube. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, where else am I? I think that's about it. Cracker Jack Scribe, except for Twitter, it's at CJ Scribe. And uh, you can follow any of those channels where I post uh, all my blog posts and I post links to my podcasts and once in a while I just do extra tips and so on. Thank you for listening and we'll see you again next week.